Hello and welcome. My name is Preston Cundy and today I'm doing a review on Street Fighter 2. Well, for a start, Street Fighter 1 was released in 1991 by Capcom. And it is a, uh, I don't know, it's a two base, I suppose, game fighter. It has three different types of game arcade, training, and versus, but I haven't got my extra controller connected. There are 12 characters. Ryu from Japan, E Honda from Japan, Blanca from Brazil, Guli from USA, Bullfrog from USA, Vega from Spain, and Bison from the sea, apparently, um, Sagat from Thailand, Bal Sim from India, Zangief from the USSR, and Julie from China, and finally Ken from the USA. Each of these characters offers different moves and, and special moves, which can later be unlocked in the campaign level. The graphics are okay, but considering it was released in 91, the graphics and the moves are pretty spectacular. You get a training mode, which is pretty fun. The character just stays there and you get to try all sorts of different moves. I feel though that sometimes in here, the characters can be played slightly easier, as this doesn't really give you much training. The uh, health bar always regenerates on the person, so you're in always and instantly playing. This is great to improve your skills, but sometimes I reckon it can just do with a little bit more juice. So is Street Fighter 2 worth buying? Well, I bought this game for 800 Microsoft on the Xbox 360 Marketplace. Would you consider paying £8 for a game that only consists of a few moves, but has lots of new things to try out? Well, people, I will leave that to you.